Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beard Venture. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, I got one from Abita. It's the PB and Jams. Let's go ahead and put it out there. Um, one of us sitting at this table doesn't like peanut butter. I do. Let me see if it smells like peanut butter. It does. Oh, okay, it's 8% alcohol. It's one of their limited releases. Is that going for it? Right? I'll pour you less. That'd be good. On the chance that you probably will not enjoy it as much as me. Mm. Peanut butter probably it enjoy it, just not as much as me. Okay. Now, it says with aromas and flavors of strawberry and roasted peanuts, PB and Jams will immediately take you back to your favorite childhood snack, the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh -huh. That was your favorite childhood uh -huh. snack? No? No. Okay. The flavors meld perfectly, resulting in a medium-bodied brew with a subtle sweetness. Well, okay. let's see if it does. Now, you know, they, some people say uh, beer is liquid bread. Yeah. Okay. You ever heard that? No. I smell a little peanut. Yeah, it's not bad. I smell, I do smell strawberry though. Yeah. Which I'm not mad at that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it tastes like I just bit to a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Like for real, for real. It, does. it tastes like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. That's awkward. Oh God, it is so peanutty. <sighs> that is strange. <laughs> like it, honestly. That's a liquid peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It liquid. Liquid. I mean, it really does. It tastes like I that just bit a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And drink a beer with it. I taste way less beer than this <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It is very peanut forward. There's a lot of peanut going on in there. Okay, it does not taste like 8% alcohol. That's mm -hmm. for dang sure. Oh, what? Mm. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. I don't hate it, but I'm not really sure I like it. It was very peanutty. This was the first time I tried it. And uh, I'm definitely glad I tried it. <laughs> It smells like, it smells more like beer than it tastes like beer. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of peanut going on in there. God, dog. Mm. Um. Yeah, it's very, that's strange. I, <laughs> I don't know how I feel I mean, about they, it. they achieved their goal. I'll give them no, that. I don't know how I feel about this. I, I just, I'm super confused. Um. I mean, it did work just like it said. You're right. Like uh, now, you don't have like you have more beer aftertaste than you have <laughs> beer taste. Yeah, <laughs> like you get a lot. It's a lot of peanut, um, and you can taste the strawberry. But it doesn't taste like but strawberry. It, doesn't it leave, tastes like it's, strawberry jelly. Yeah, but it doesn't leave that in your mouth. It's, you get a know. beer aftertaste. I'm super confused. I mean, it's like I read it and I knew what it said, but I didn't think it would taste like it said. I know. I know that sounds weird. weird. That's weird. It smells like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It just. It's a beer. It's a beer. That's awkward. If you're a peanut butter fan, go for it. You'll wow. love it. Like there's no, it has a good mouthfeel. There's yeah. no malt. Not no malt. There's no, no malt. hops. No. Um, it's pretty clean and kind of crisp, mm -hmm. but it tastes like a damn peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> it's very strange. I don't know why I'm so like, like shocked that it really did. Uh, well, you know what? I there, I want to say there was another like peanut butter and grape something something yeah. beer I think there was. seltzer or something that I tried. I was just like, ah, this is lame. No, this one really, 
it, it's, it, it, it hit the mark. I don't know. I'm, I'm uh, stupid confused. <sighs> All right, like, here's, here's the problem with it. Is how many more do I want? Yeah. I don't. Um, I don't like peanuts, so. I think it's neat. But I, think it's, I think it's very neat. And I think they did exactly what they're advertising it to be. I think um, you, it's, a, it's a limited. Okay. Yeah. So this is something that I don't think this could ever be a, like a year round, like always beer. Like yeah. they made it a lot. Right. Because I think once you have a couple, you're like, you get it for the weird factor or yeah. the, I wonder if they've made it. And then you try it and you're like, cool. And maybe you drink a couple of them, but then like when there's none to be found on the shelf, you're well, probably not like forget. upset. Whatever. But the next time it comes out, you grab some because you got a buddy that you're like, has to try it. dude, you got to try this. Right, right. And they're like, peanut butter and jam, what? It's a great novelty beer. Yeah, but the thing is about what I will say, like, I didn't want to call it a novelty beer. The reason I don't want to call it a novelty beer is because I've had a bunch of novelty beers that that's all they were was novelty. Like, they weren't a good beer. They didn't really... Mm. This one's just... Well, this one's a good one. Yeah, yeah I guess so. I mean, it is... <laughs> it's... Ex I mean, or is this an exotic beer? I don't know. I don't know. I don't exotic, know. but I mean, they, I, they did a good job, but they really did. I mean, they, yeah. they hit exactly what they should have hit with it, but I, I just don't like peanut butter. Yeah, I do that like peanut butter. It's just, it's just, like, it's just kind of like I'm it's, not it, sure how I feel about it. Yeah, it's a little strange. Um, but if you guys are enjoying this video, hit that like button. Uh, I'd love to talk to you guys about this one in the comments. If y'all ever had this one, or mm. will this video make you look for it? Uh, I like to know that. That'd be kind of neat. Mm -hmm. uh, or is there another peanut butter jelly beer that you know that maybe I should try? Um, with if you so, with one of your other friends, <laughs> <laughs> dang, if you subscribe, you'll get this three times a week. Uh, I'll see what I can find to put down in the description. Uh, you'll also find uh, some social media links and a uh, link to the merch store. This shirt is available in the merch store. Um, well, all right, so let's get down to it. Did you dig it? I did dig it. I, I I have a great appreciation for what it is. I don't dig peanuts, peanut butter. So, I mean, I didn't really dig it. Like, did I personally like it? No. Okay. But I mm -hmm. certainly appreciate it for what, what they did. Okay. okay. Um, would you have another? No. I would have, I would have maybe one or two more, but like not the next beer. Yeah. 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 It's a little sweet too. Yeah. Um, does it have any seekability? I think so. Yeah. Uh, it's worth finding. I think so. Like, especially like a pick six type deal. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. That, it, this is a, this Definitely is a banger six, of a pick six. If you're a huge peanut butter and jelly fan. Maybe go ahead and grab the whole pack. thing. But, I mean, but, like, absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt, pick six worthy. Because. Oh, yes. You know. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay. On a one to ten. I'm on a seven because I'm weirded out by it, but I kind of like it, and I think it's neat that they pulled it off so well. And I'm going to kind of grade it differently than I would because no, I don't want to grade it on my personal opinion about peanut butter because I don't want that to overweigh what they did. Yeah. I think for what they did and what it is, I think it's excellent. I think it is a seven. My personal taste is like a five. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I think there's a lot of people out there that would greatly enjoy this if you like peanut butter. I think it's neat. I just like. I'm I'm very intrigued and impressed with what they were able to pull off. It's just not for me. Well, there you have it, folks. Yeah. To your next beer adventure. That was. Cheers. Cheers.